Hello, I'm gonna try something out today. Um, there's some noise going on in the background. I was filming a nice uh, kind of how to make arrowhead video, uh, obsidian video. Hopefully that's up before this goes up. But um, if it's not, that means that these guys don't, they're not being quiet. Uh, and I think they're taking a, a, a big cedar tree out about a block and a half away. And every once in a while, it just sounds super noisy. So. Um, Check out that other series, hopefully it's done. Uh, and I'm, this is where I'm at so far with that series. Uh, but right now, I wanna try out a new series called Let's Nap. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while and I wanna go through and take little flakes uh, and I'll take suggestions for what type of point you want. Um, but right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn this one into a desert side notch. So I'll take suggestions for the point types that you want to me to do, but I, I want to eventually get through every single point type from North America and hopefully eventually in the world, which would be super cool, super ambitious, but we could do maybe a 15, 20 minute video for each. Um, so I have a video where I am taking flakes off of this, uh, this kind of cool uh, chert from Cache Creek where, uh, I kind of, I, I, I came to the conclusion that I was going to do this today while that noise is going on. Um, the Let's Nap series are going to be more me talking. We can talk about whatever. Uh, I want to, I'll put a picture of what the point style is going to be like, uh, or maybe just the, a picture of the finished point. No, 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 I'll, like an outline of, of what a desert side notch is or the point type that I'm going to be doing um, in the beginning. And then we'll nap it we can talk about whatever uh, i don't want to talk about politics or religion or anything like that because i don't want to divide an audience but um we can talk about geology we can talk about uh, all sorts of stuff um and then i'll be chipping a piece into uh the point that i'm gonna make so in the beginning i'll have probably a few videos before i take suggestions uh, maybe it might take it like about a, maybe half a month of you seeing Let's Nap see, uh, videos until I will get to the suggestions. But um, in the next kind of sequence of videos when I go out and Flint Nap, uh, I will take suggestions for what types of points you want. Um, which is cool. I think that'll be fun. It'll be a neat little, uh, neat little community building activity. So if there's a, a pressing point you'd like me to nap or you'd like to see how to make I will I will work on that and do my best to make it um, and in the end I hope to have made every single point type so but if you don't suggest anything I will just keep going alphabetical um, right now I don't know I was just thinking this is a nice triangle piece it'll be quick to do uh, so we can uh, make a little desert side notch. I better take a look quickly at what that's actually supposed to look like. Um, I think it's kind of similar to a Cahokia, but we'll see. Maybe I'll even make it kind of serrated. But So until then, let's nap a desert side notch. So this is what I have found for a desert side notch. I think kind of vaguely triangular side notch. Sometimes they go in at the base quite often, so I think I'll try and make one similar to this one here, except whole, of course. All right, let's nap a desert side notch. Well, I wasn't recording. So, maybe I was, maybe I just ran out of time. We'll see. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case, but, uh, so we've been, um, chipping these away a little bit. I've started one notch here. I basically didn't do too much. I just scrunched the edges, took a little bit off the end here, flattened this out. And uh, we might need to do a second desert side notch depending on how much footage I didn't, didn't get. Because sometimes it seems like I press the record button and it 
doesn't start recording and really it's it's my fault for not double checking that it is recording when I do press it but um, hopefully it's not too bad I will probably need to get um, a nice uh, little file to deal with this dull notcher but For now, we're okay. If I was going for a really narrow entry notch, this is not the way I would do it. I would have a very, very sharp notcher. Well, no file, but... That's all right. Abrasives work just about, just about as well. So. All right. Let's get those notches notched. Yeah, so uh, this one's kind of a quiet one, but I do want to talk about things. So uh, I talked about this a little bit uh, in the intro that you probably saw or maybe didn't when I was flint mapping this. Uh, that might be a completely separate video or uh, taking the flakes off, I mean. Um, so this is a chert that uh, I picked up from, um, from Cash Creek in BC. Um, and in BC, if you're not too familiar with it, uh, the whole west coast is made out of, um, like, terrains that have been accreted. Uh, everything past the, about the, the Monashi complex out in the, uh, Amanika belt, pretty well most of it is uh, accreted, um, stuff that has formed elsewhere or at least was transported away and then brought back in. Um, so the Cache Creek um, terrain is a, a body of, well it's kind of like a belt of rock that have slammed into the um, into the west coast of Canada. It stretches quite a ways. It's sandwiched between the Quinellia and Stichinia, which seem like, uh, they seem like they're the same unit, which is interesting because if it's sandwiched in, it means that the uh, Quinellia and Stichinia has folded around Cache Creek. Um, what is kind of interesting for flint nappers is the Cache Creek is made out of uh, deep sea marine sediments, generally. Uh, you get volcanoclastic rocks, you get uh, siliciclastic things, you get, um, and sometimes you get cherts. So this is radiolarian chert that formed as deep sea stuff, um, and it was in a accretionary melange, which is, um, it's, melange is a French word for, like, mixed up or mixture, um, so it's basically, uh, something where pretty much all structure has been kind of lobotomized and uh, it's very hard to interpret unless you can recognize that it is a melange in which case you can say well that formed in a accretionary prism so um, it's essentially a bunch of marine rocks that have kind of been chewed up 
in a if you think about as a, a plate is subducting below um, below a continental plate you have a whole bunch of sediments and stuff that are top, like kind of laying on top of the plate and where there's connection between the oceanic plate and the continental plate you get all that stuff scraping off and if you think of when you're plowing uh, plowing your driveway or something from snow um, if you think of the continental plate as the shovel and the uh, oceanic plate as um, maybe the asphalt or something underneath your shovel this stuff the accretionary prism and melange is the basically the snow that's piling up on top and you end up with a big kind of a wedge shape um, with a whole bunch of deep sea sediments and uh, island arcs that are slammed on top and all chewed up and mixed up. Um, if you think of uh, the snow in your metaphorical shovel here, or in our analogy, you can think of that as being kind of turbulent, right? That's not just, like that stuff has, it's been mixed up a bit. And if you imagine down at the bottom of the shovel, that's probably, like you're probably getting dirt, you're getting leaves, all sorts of stuff, and that's ending up in, in our snow. Uh, down near the bottom. It's mixing. So essentially that's what this stuff is. It, it's it's deep sea sediment that has been kind of, or sedimentary rock that has uh, been entrained in a basically a giant snow pile of sand and sandstone and volcanic rocks. Um, so it's kind of a kind of interesting little story about it. Um, this chert in particular has some geological uh, significance because I mentioned it in the video where I'm uh, taking these flakes, but they have radiolarians in them. And radiolarians are a type of sea thing. They're like almost a, maybe a little plankton or something that has a hard shell. I don't really know exactly what they are, but I know that they swim around, or at least did swim around. Um, well, float, float around. They'd be, they'd be like, I don't know. I don't really know what they are. There's people that can look at some and know exactly where they're from what age they are and that is one of the ways that you can go and age date the uh, at least give you, gives you a maximum age date of the rocks in the Cache Creek terrain so this stuff in particular has radiolarians I'm not sure what age they are um, so it's kind of a kind of a cool little side note Um, I don't know what else we can talk about. If you'd like to hear more about the geology, I can kind of, I can answer any questions too. Uh, and if I don't, if I've said something wrong, let me know too. I, this is kind of just, I'm regurgitating what uh, I remember some, some of my professors talking about, so. Um, So right now I'm just doing the basal notch. I'm gonna come up, hopefully, not break it.
<laughs> no! No! It's so funny when you say hopefully not break it and then the next thing you do, break it. Oh, I don't even know where the piece is. That's all right. It's a really thin point. Um, we're making a smaller desert side notch. And this is the part which uh, is also hard to do, but you gotta do it. Because I don't glue points. Some people glue points, I don't do that. We're making a smaller one. And I'm gonna actually do the basal notch first this time because I do not want that to happen again. She was getting close to being done too. Oh well. A few more flakes in, I would have called it uh, deep enough. But That's the way it goes. So, let's see if we can't take some nice flakes off the base to make our napping process a little easier. Oh, I said nice flakes, not step fractures. Jeez, the rocks never listen, hey? kind of what I was talking about. All right, let's get the middle one done. Gotta sharpen my tool again. Oof, lucky I didn't snap that there.
looks pretty even to me. So now we'll... Do you want to... You know what? Let's serrate it. A lot of them are serrated. So it looks like the people cutting down the trees are done cutting down the trees. So I'll be able to get back to that obsidian one. But uh, we'll quickly finish this up. And then I think I will take suggestions for what to talk about during uh, Let's Nap. And uh, point types. So I'll, I'll, uh, unless I get to uploading this way later, um, you'll probably be able to uh, send me suggestions for points you're itching for me to try and you'd like somebody to try and make. Um, I'm okay if you tell me to do a Clovis, like, I don't know, a Folsom, I've, I've done a couple, but I don't have a jig, so I'd have to do it uh, by hand, it'll take a lot of takes, so, um, but, there we go, there's my little uh, desert side notch, let's, let's get a good shot of it, and um, this has been, this has been Let's Nap, where we talk about rocks, talk about geology, talk about whatever you want except for politics and religion and uh, there we go I don't know if I'm at a thousand subscribers by the time this goes up uh, I might end up giving this away but we'll see uh, once I hit a thousand subscribers at the end of the video series or videos I'll be Maybe giving them away. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe I'll put them on the store. Don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is pretty cool. Nice little point. All right.